Hey guys, on this Monopoly Plus uh, series, I'm going to keep all the games under 15 minutes, even if it's part of a, a bigger game, and then I'll put it into playlists so you can play them all one after the other. What's up guys? This is What's My Game, and I'm so thankful that you're watching this video today. I'm doing something out of the ordinary. I'm playing Monopoly Plus. I'm taking a break from all the other games that I'm trying to play and cover, and I'm going to play something different. The reason I'm playing it is because... It's half off the PSN, uh, through PSN right now. I, I don't know if you have to be PlayStation Plus or not, but either way, uh, it's on sale uh, for me, and it's like $7.50, um, uh, so less than $8 US. So I figured, let's get it, because I have a family and we enjoy this game a lot on the, on the board, but it's a pain in the ass to play with the fake money, so. And I played this before on PS3 and it was pretty good. So uh, this is just a plus version. There is another version where you can um, you can get more shit. It's called My Monopoly, but um, all it'll let you do is like that's it right there at the bottom. You where you can like create your own board or whatever. You know, I don't really care about that. So um, I played once for like five or ten minutes, and I realized that I need to set it up a little differently so it's not so long of a game. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Um, I haven't played, I, again, I only played one local game just for like five minutes. There it is right there. And uh, I'm going to create, I'm going to create a new game. And I, I did the living board. See, this one is just a classic board, I guess. I haven't tried that, but it looks pretty boring. So we'll go with the living board. This is what I cannot understand. And I haven't figured this out yet because like, like every other game I play, I don't read the instructions. <laughs> So I have no idea what the frick. You would think that if you, that, okay, you could play the old school and the rules. That's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. But you would think that, okay, you could do this or you could choose all these special rules, right? Nope. Um, it's not how it works. Like you can just pick one of them. Cause once you go through the motions, it makes you like, go ahead and play. Like you can't pick like two of them, you know? So I guess you can pick like classic rules, but you can have like a little special rule, right? So, I think we're just going to go with the classic rules, but I definitely want to do speed die, because the other game was going mega slow, and that's why I decided to to, uh, to stop it. So I'm going to try to get a whole game in, and I'm just going to do everybody on the same controller, because it's just me. What am I going to be? I was the, I was the car the first game. I'm going to be the wheelbarrow. Oh, that's really silly. What about the shoe? I was the car. I like the car, though. Let's do the boat. All right, so let's do that. And then we're going to select an AI. We're going to do, let's do one easy, Serafina. And then add AI. Let's do one normal, David. And let's do one hard. Should I do a hard? Oh, what the hell? I don't care if I lose. Let's do a hard. So let's do add. Oh wait, I don't want that many. There we go, so there should be four of us. All right, so Mike is the hard. All right, we're gonna start the game. Let's do it. The fast dealing property trading game. I'm gonna try not to talk whenever there's talking in the game. Like right, <laughs> like right there. Oh, hey, I got, uh... wait, what's going on? See, this happened last game. There's only three of us. And you and I both know, you were looking at it, that I chose for four players. I have no idea what the frick happened. Whatever, let's just do three players then. That's stupid. That happened the first time I played. I had four players on the screen, and it only gave me three. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Evidently, I don't have the intelligence to play this uh, dummy game. Your turn starts who cares now. who goes first, right? Eight, Serafina. <laughs> I go last. What a great day to play Monopoly. Time to trade and build an empire. Look at those cars. Looks like little Sim City down there. This is the Monopoly man. Shoot the dice and see what the future holds. Hey, Serafina. I'm gonna take a drink. You'll probably hear it. 
Oh, knocked our shit over. Go, kitty, go. And of course, she's gonna buy it. What do you want to do? Hundred dollars? Why wouldn't you buy it, right? Okay. It's your turn. Oh, okay. That's the only difference. I can. I. I was able to. Well, no. This is supposed to be faster. I guess it's a little faster. I was able to skip a little bit of the fuddy duddy stuff at the end, and then the it's dice was like maybe twice as fast. That's it. Oh yes. Oh, he doesn't have shit to pay. Whatever. See, I can Let's skip the little the farting around. I'll show you what it does though. It does. I don't think it does anything to be honest with you. Eleven. I don't like how I can't see the whole board. Yes, I need to buy something. St. Charles. That's what I'm talking about. This is your chance to own some real estate. You know I'm going to buy it. All right, I'll leave it. I won't skip this time. Yay. Build it. Build it, little people. All right, see here you can go to my board. You can go to the board. And it says 26 free properties. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so I'm moving around the board here. I guess it shows you it's for sale. And then it shows you who owns it. Shows you where they're at. So I'm the only one that owns some shit. That's how it's gonna be the rest of the game. I don't know, wait. <laughs> Never mind. Seraphine owns Oriental Avenue. All right, cool. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna end my turn. Your time has come. <laughs> I can't see it. Uh, it's a four. One, two, three, four. Visiting. I imagine you prefer being on this side of the box. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't skip, and nothing happened. So I'm just gonna skip it. Maybe saves us one second. Whoopty freaking do. I don't see how this is so much faster, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take my word for it. Virginia Avenue. You have enough money to buy this property. Is he gonna buy it? Like to of course he's gonna buy it. Silly rabbit. Hey, those are the same guys working at my place. How could they be two places at once? Son of a biscuit. Ten! Where's that get me? Where's that get me? Look at my little boat. Is that supposed to be water? Kentucky Avenue! You Home of the Wildcat and the Bluegrass. All right, so to we're gonna buy it. Of course we are. All right, we got some different employees here. That looks good. My man's got the. Look like he's put. He, <laughs> it looked like he's putting concrete back into the concrete mixer. <laughs> we're not gonna laugh, and we're gonna think that we're gonna make. We're, we're gonna pretend that was uh, uh, dirt, and he's mixing it with uh, something because it's poured on the ground. <laughs> oh, the railroad. All aboard! All aboard! Ooh, shiny new railroad. Owned by Cat. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. I'm not seeing a whole lot of skipping available here, ladies and gents. The dice, when they throw it and when they get it back, is slightly faster than the other version. Nothing can happen to you here. Uh oh. What are you trying to do with me, buddy? He's offering me 90 Monopoly dollars. Trading is the heart of business. Are you really kidding me? He's offering $90 for a fucking property that's on worth $140? What a moron. All right, how do I add money? Oh, it says right there, add money. <laughs> how do I... Oh, okay. I'm going to make this joker pay through the nose. I'm going to make money on this transaction or I'm not going to do it. It's as simple as that. I mean... $30 is a lot of money in this game, so let's do 30 bucks, then I pay for it. Deal? Question mark? If there's demand, there will be an offer. Oh! He accepted it. 
Now let's hope that was a good move. I made 30 bucks. I don't know. I just don't know. I didn't think he would go for it, quite honestly. He offered me such a low ball offer. Now that's the hard player. That guy is set up on the hard difficulty setting. Oh, Marvin Gardens is the bomb. This property is for sale. Oh yeah. It's time to become the owner. So I have a property. I have two properties. And I still I have more money than everybody. So that worked. Oh wait, no. <laughs> it didn't come off yet. I have less money than everybody. That's alright. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for. Come on, Serafina. Uh oh, Indiana Avenue. All right, I'm trying to figure out the board underneath of our names, and I think it goes vertical. Like it shows you the colors like vertically. I think that's what the deal is. So like David, he has two of the same color now because I went ahead and sold that one to him. I think that's what that means. But I couldn't figure it out on the first game, but I guess that would make sense instead of going left to right because it does not. It's not. There's no spaces in between them. And then those ones on the end that have just two, that must be Boardwalk and um, Park Place and then Mar um, Baltic Avenue or whatever. You can buy this property. What do you want to do? All right, David took the lead in properties. I wish you luck. Come on, brother. What do we got? Oh, my piece got stuck. Eight. I guess it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Park Place! Woo! That's a this good one. It's expensive, but if somebody lands there, it pays $35. That's it. See, uh, 35 is a lot in this game. But when they got to put the houses on there, look at that. It's going to pay 175 500 111 111 Oh, I got a headache. <laughs> 1100 all right, so let's skip. It's your turn. What do you got for me, Serafina? That's right. Ten. All the way around the corner here. Oh, it's open. Oh, community Whatever chest. Happens, don't settle. That means you gotta take your shirt off. Community chest. Yes. Two hundred dollars. That's. That's really good for her. Let's Damn it. Alright, I need this guy to take a take a dive here, like go to jail. I don't even know if I'm in the right place to go to jail on this board, because I can't even figure out where I'm at. Yes! It's already paying off! Screw you, buddy! <laughs> yes, yes. Does this go to Oh, this is past go, okay. That's right, we're already past the jail. Seven, yeah, past those shitty Baltic Avenues. Oh no, oh no. Don't land on somebody. What's that? Ah, oh, I just gotta pay my freaking salary back. Son of a monkey's ass. Oh, that sucks. So not only do I lose the money that I just earned, but I don't get to fucking buy a property. And that's a double whammy right there early in the game for shiz. Because you got to buy as many properties as possible in the beginning. That's what everybody's going to do. Oh, she got hit with the same shit, only she got the cheaper one. Well, that's all right. It's better than her uh, not getting hit. What do I want him to go? I want him to land on where I'm at, basically. Oh my god, he's going halfway around the board. He's gonna have another roll. Oh, he's gonna land on an open property too. Damn it! Are you interested in buying this property? Damn it! Damn it. He's taking the lead on me. And money and properties now because of that. Because of that two hundred dollar tax I had to pay, and because I couldn't buy one, and now he's got a double too. But some of these are owned, so let's. What the fuck is that red piece? What's a red piece? Oh, I have no idea what the red piece was. You're home. Maybe it's time to manage your portfolio. I have no idea what that piece is. Oh god. I should not have to break out the rules. Why is there red pieces? 
What's going on right now? Uh oh. Damn it! Of all the places to land! Oh, boys. Oh, no. This is where I start to nosedive. Why is there a red die?